Good morning everyone. I am Ankita Gupta. As you already know me, I am your computer teacher. Today we are going to see our syllabus math twice. Here you can see in the picture, as I have mentioned, the syllabus month wise chapter 1 operating system and graphical user interface role and function in the month of May chapter 2 spreadsheet formula and functions in the month of May charts in Excel in the month of June algorithms and flowcharts in the month of June in chapter 5 introduction to Java in J the month of July. Now we see chapter 1. As you can see in the image, I have mentioned two parts here. Part 1 and part 2. In part 1, we will discuss few topics of this chapter. Types of software, what is an operating system, need for an operating system, features, functions of an operating system and types of operating system. In part 2, we will discuss user interface, types of interface and advantages and disadvantages of GUI over CUI and exercise, exercises and assignments. this chapter by this small video operating system and GUI role and functions an operating system OS is an essential component of a computer system it is the system software that manages computer hardware and software resources and provides common services for computer programs need of operating system in earlier days users had to design the application according to the internal structure of the hardware operating system was needed to enable the user to design the application without concerning the details of the computers internal structure it is an interface between the computer hardware and user. Functions of operating system The main functions of operating system are Process management The process management takes care of the creation and deletion of processes, scheduling of various system resources and providing mechanism for synchronization and communication among processes. Memory Management The memory management module takes care of the allocation and reallocation of memory space to the various programs. File Management Computer uses a lot of data and programs that are stored on secondary storage devices. File Management involves keeping track of all different files and maintaining the integrity of data stored in the files. Security The security modules protect the resources and information of a computer system against destruction and unauthorized access. Command Interpretation The command interpretation takes care of interpreting of user commands and directing the system resources to handle the requests. Input Output or Device Management This involves receiving the request for I.O. interrupts and communicating back to the requesting process. Job Control Using Operating System Job Control Language or JCL, the user can communicate with the operating system for telling it what to do. Usage of operating system Easy interaction between the user and computer 
Starting computer operation automatically after power on. Loading and scheduling user's program. Controlling input and output. Controlling program execution. Managing uses of main memory. Providing security to user's program. Types of operating system. There exists several types of operating systems. Single user operating system. Single user operating system is a type of operating system OS that is developed and intended for use on a computer or similar machine that will only have a single user at any given time. This is the most common type of OS used on a home computer as well as on computers in offices and other work environments. Single user OS is that OS which supports only one user at a time. Example DOS Windows 95, 97, 98 Windows 2000 Professional etc. Multi-user operating system A multi-user operating system has been designed for more than one user to access the computer at the same or different time. There are several different types of multi-user systems. Single processor, multiple processor, networked systems and multitasking systems. Real-time operating systems Real-time operating systems are used for direct control over electromechanical equipment such as industrial robots, factory processes, power stations, airplanes, trains and cars. They monitor external events and react instantaneously. Batch operating systems Batch systems are used for running batch operations such as calculating and printing customers' bills. They often run a single task for hours or even days at a time, like banks process millions of checks each month. These are processed together in a long run, usually overnight. Now, you understood about hardware, software, what is an operating system, features of an operating system. Let's take a quick recap for all the parts of this video. Here you can see hardware and software. What is hardware? Hardware is a physical element of a computer or electronic system. It can be tangible, it can be damaged, it can be replaced with a new component. It starts functioning once the software is loaded into the system. For example, keyboard, mouse, monitor, printer, hard disk, CPU, RAM and ROM and the vice versa software. Software is a collection of instructions that tells the computer how to perform a task. It cannot, it can intangible or means it cannot be tangible. It can damage, it can be reinstalled using a backup copy and should be installed into a computer for the better function. For example, MS Word, Excel, MS SQL, MySQL, Photoshop and so many different softwares. Now you can see the categories of computer software. Here you can see computer software is further divided in two parts. Application software and system software. Application software is basically used for the general purpose program and application specific programs. 
in system software a system software uses for uh, system management programs and system development programs now what is an operating system as you can see in the video an interface between the user and computer through which the computer can be instructed to perform to perform the required operation is called operating system it acts as a link between the user and computer and it provides an environment to the user for example dos windows unix and linux are some common operating systems now what is the need of an operating system a operating system controls all aspects of a computer. A OS is used to manage memory, disk space, keyboard, mouse and programs. When you run a program, you tell the OS which program to run and how to use the program. Because a computer is just like a rock. It is a machine. It cannot perform any task without our instructions. Operating systems features resource management, memory management, storage management, and so many different tasks are here. Types of an operating system single user operating system, multi processor operating system. In single user operating system, it allows only one user at a time, it is the initial version of OS. And it has very limited features. If for example, DOS Windows 3.1. In multi-processor operating system, it consists of several processors that operate under single OS. And high computing power in comparison to the single user operating system. It increases the system performance also. For example, Windows XP, Unix. The next multitasking operating system. It is also called a time sharing operating system. It provides multitask or processes executed using single CPU. And the time switching is very fast because it has to perform many tasks at the same time. For example, Windows XP, Windows 10. The next is multi threading operating system. A thread is an execution unit of process. A process can have single or in many threads. It, the different part of software program runs simultaneously. For example, Windows XP and Linux. The next is distributed operating system. Distributed operating system you can understand by its name. It is used in networking runs on a set of computers located in different places as you can see in our computer labs distributed os makes them appear as a single computer real-time os real-time systems are used when there are some time requirement are very restrict like missile systems air traffic control systems robots etc now it is further divided in two parts hard real time systems and soft real time system hard real time systems are those where the application time constraints are very restrict and even the shortest possible and delay is not acceptable in short real time systems the operating system are for application where for time const Constraints is less strict. Part 2 We will discuss user interface, advantages, and disadvantages over GUI and CUI. Exercises and assignments. Thank you.